Hi, this is Carl Goode, teaching you how to draw a map in CS4, Adobe Illustrator CS4. Um, this is section the fifth part of the series, or is it is it the sixth? I think it's the fifth part. Anyway, I am going to color in these states now. I've drawn these polygons, and I've where where there are shared borders. I've actually only paid attention to one of the borders. In this case, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan here is correctly drawn along the border, but we can see where Wisconsin. Wisconsin looks really good along here, and then when it hits the border of Michigan, it's hiding. It's just a mess of just a straight line I drew. And the reason that is is because I'm going to color in Michigan, and it'll hide that part of the border of Wisconsin, and its shared border will, gener will create the northern border of Wisconsin. So the way I like to color in is I like to use premixed colors in Adobe Illustrator. I don't like to use this color thing and try to mix these colors and... You know, it's very messy and nobody, it, you have to know, unless you're brilliant with color, click on the swatches, click on the, um, the, uh, the extras here, this, this button right in the, in, the, in the top, additional options, and uh, it pops open this window. Go down to swatch libraries and you'll see there are all these colors already mixed. Earth tones is really nice. Na uh, neutral is very nice. Um, you don't want, depending on what your map is for, I don't, I'm not going to use saturated colors. I'm going to just use neutral colors here. And they all go together. They're already pre-mixed to, to go well together. So I'm going to go ahead and pick neutral. And that opens up this nice window of, of, of swatches. And if, if I use, uh, I can say use a medium thumbnail and you can see them a little better. So there's my, there's my palette of colors. So I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, Michigan. Michigan, I'm going to select, hold the, uh, the shift key down and select both of these parts of Michigan. There are also some islands in here that you want to select, and uh, I think that one there is Canada, but these are all Michigan. I'm selecting, holding the shift key down, selecting all this stuff, moving around, looking, making sure I'm okay. I think I have everything there. And I'm going to select one of the colors for, for uh, Michigan. I'm not going to select blue because that tends to be uh, uh, water, of course. Now, I have the line in front, and I need to click the back box to bring that forward to make this a fill color that gets filled, not changing the line color. So I'm going to go ahead and, and click on that. So now you can see that I have uh, a green Michigan, and that's all just grand. So I have uh, all these other colors here, other, other states here, though. And I'm going to go ahead and maybe we'll just for fun, we'll just fill them all in different colors. So I'm going to fill in Wisconsin, that color, and Illinois is, uh, we can make that that color. This part of Iowa is is uh, another color. We'll just keep going. And Indiana. Now Indiana. Um, a lot of these these states have are are really on top of. They're all on top of Michigan, and so they're messing Michigan up. And I can settle that solve that in a couple of different ways. So and now we're into Canada. Whoops. When you get when when this happens where you double click on an object, when you double clicked on an object and everything else has gone dim. And uh that is called um I forget what kind of mode that is. Uh I forget, but you can see up here that you're you you've is it's isolation mode. And the way to get out of that is just double click again on the background somewhere and it'll go away. So now I'm going to select on all of the Canadian stuff here. And um, I'll pick a nice Canadian color. I don't know. How about this color? No, nope, that's pretty close. Maybe not. One of these other colors. Close enough. So, um, so now I've colored in all of these great, great states. But every, this is messed up. Michigan's border is wrong. So I'm going to click on, I mean, Wisconsin's upper border is wrong. So I'm going to click on um, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, which is now, first of all, you may recall that we did some layering here. And I've opened up the layers. Now, Michigan is I actually I accidentally drew all these states on the same state as Michigan as the same layer as Michigan and I didn't want to do that I wanted them to be on their own layer so that's not a big deal I can just select these by holding the option key down the shift key down select all of these states um, and then not Michigan though and you can see that I, there's an orange dot that says all of these things are on this layer now I just and you can see they have an orange selection highlight around them because that's on the orange layer. Now if I just grab that box and drag it up to other states, now it changes to blue selection because that's the blue layer. And if I turn off that layer, you'll see that everything's on there. But I did leave a few islands, um, uh, Canadian islands. So if there were a lot of islands, what I would do is just select one, go up to the word select, and say same fill color, and it'll select anything that's that color. 
it selected all of those things. And it doesn't matter. I can just move the ones that are not on that layer up to the correct layer. And now they're all on that layer. So now I've got uh, the other states all on the right layer. One thing I can do is uh, the, what I need to do now is this layer of other states is above the Michigan layer. So I can just click on that layer once, hold it down, and drag it under the Michigan layer. But be careful. If you let it go on top of the Michigan layer, it's going to merge it back in where it was. with the. Mich It'll put all those objects on the Michigan layer. So you bring it down below the Michigan layer and then let go. And now you can see that this border has has it has corrected itself. Let me just undo that and I'll show you. And now I'll redo it. This is the command key, command Z, command shift Z. And you can see that this border here sharing Michigan fixes itself as do these down below with with Idaho. I mean with uh, Indiana and Ohio. Um, so so that's important to know. And uh, the other good news is now, you know, if, again, if I wanted to make this a, a, a white border, I could do that. Um, but here, what I'm going to do next is uh, uh, show you how to mask off the edges so that this isn't, all this sloppiness isn't happening. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is select one of these and go to select same stroke color. So I'm selecting all of the black lines. And I'm going to click on the black line here and say no line. And now I have a much more elegant map here. And so I'll, I'll stop there for now and uh, go on to the next part. So this is uh, Adobe Illustrator CS4 signing off and looking forward to the next part where we're going to do the lake and we're going to uh, maybe make some borders and start. Well, well, we'll put some labels and some dots and all that sort of thing. We'll look at symbols and onward. Here we go.